Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Grid Review. I hope you are all doing well. Today for this episode, it is time to review the Teton Sports Deer Hunter Sleeping Bag. This is rated to zero degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can see here, it's fairly small. Easily fits inside of your backpack. You can take it anywhere. Okay, well that's not the case as you guys can see here. Now when it comes to the dimensions of this, you're looking at roughly 38 inches wide. And when it's compressed here with the three straps and the diameter of this will really depend on just how tight you have it. You can get this thing down to about roughly nine and a half inches in diameter. Now, when it comes to weight, you are looking at eight and a half pounds. So yes, with the size, with the weight in consideration, this is not a backpacking sleeping bag. This is a sleeping bag for car camping for hunting, throw it on the back of the ATV, head off into the woods, that sort of thing. Now with the temperature rating for this bag, it is rated down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. Now will this sleeping bag take you down, actually take you down to zero? Find out shortly in the review. First, let's take a look at the sleeping bag itself. So I'll go ahead and undo the compression straps here, begin unrolling this. Now, as you can see here, this has a sort of canvas cover on the outside. It's not very thick, it's not very rigid like you would think with most canvas fabrics. This is very soft. Think of it kind of like a duck jacket, but not as stiff. Okay, now with my model here, this has the left hand zip. You can also get it with the right hand zip if you'd like. Right here you have a cover which goes over the zipper. That will ensure that the zipper doesn't come undone while you're using this bag at nighttime. As you can see, it is rated for zero degrees here. Two-way zipper, very good quality, opens nice and easy. I've had no issues with it with my testing. When it comes to the dimensions for this sleeping bag, you were looking at 90 inches long, 38 inches wide. Eight and a half pounds, like I mentioned before. The outer shell is canvas. The liner there is a poly flannel. This is not cotton flannel. There is a difference. The shell color is brown, and that is the only color in which this is offered. This sleeping bag features a double layer construction, the entire width and length of the bag. The zipper features a full length baffle to reduce drafts. I will go ahead and hop inside of this bad boy for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like here. Very good size, and with it being 90 inches long, 38 inches wide, I mean, just about anybody can fit inside of this and get a good night's sleep. Oh man, it feels pretty darn good. As you can see behind me, there's a baffle. There's also another baffle up here on the other side. That way to trap that warm air inside the bag itself. You can have a pillow up here, whatever you want. Stay nice and comfortable. It is now time for the review. Let's get to that. When it comes to price, you are looking at $89 on Amazon at the time of filming. This is rated for zero degrees. Can you take this down to zero degrees Fahrenheit? No, no you cannot. In my testing, I found that once it hits around the 25 degree mark and down below, I was beginning to get cold. So I would have to throw on some additional layers to stay warm once it got down below 25 degrees. Everybody sleeps differently. I tend to find that when compared to other people, I sleep a little bit hotter. So for me to be cold at 25 degrees, other people may be very cold, okay? Moving on from the temperature rating, I still like this sleeping bag. I do not think it's a bad product at all, especially for the $89 mark. Yes, 25 degrees is about as far as I want to take it personally, but if you throw in some additional layers, maybe throw in an extra blanket, you could definitely take it down further. For $89, that's not bad performance. Now, when it comes to the stitching, I have seen better, right? There are some issues here, some loose threads. A little bit more care could be put into this product. So Teton Sports, definitely make sure to check these products before you send them out the door because some of the stitching on this bag is pretty poor. The compression straps, I think that is a good touch. It allows you to really cinch this up, tie it onto the back of your ATV, throw it in the back of your car. Now with the flannel material here, it is very comfortable. It feels great against the skin. The, the negatives are that this is not true flannel. It's polyester, it's not cotton. I would personally like to see cotton flannel because it's warmer, softer, just a better product all in all. Now I have heard some reports about this liner here, about this flannel, right? I have heard reports of the coloring coming out and dyeing people's clothes, dyeing their skin. 
Now, I've used this many, many nights, roughly 10 nights so far, and I've had no issues with the color coming out at all. So, take that for what it is. When it comes to durability, so far this has been a great product. No issues to mention, right? I've had no issues with the zipper. So far, all the stitches have held well. For 80 bucks, I think this is a great sleeping bag. Of course, it's a very specific use sleeping bag. You're not gonna take this backpacking. You're not going to take this hiking. This is definitely for in the car, on the ATV, hunting, that sort of thing. Another aspect to this bag, which I really like here, is that you have this draw pull. So you can pull this nice and tight around you to really seal in the heat, right? You have another draw pull on the outside, so you can pull it tight. Very smart feature. You know, something to keep in mind though, is that this is a very budget friendly bag. The zippers are not YKK. So you have to be gentle with merchandise like this, right? I think if you are gentle with it, you treat it well, it will treat you well also. The price is excellent for what it is. Comfort, thumbs up. Temperature rating, like I mentioned before, 25 degrees is, is about as low as I want to go with no additional layers. If I want to go down to 20 degrees, I will throw in some thermals. If I want to go low, lower than that, throw in a blanket, throw in a jacket, stuff like that, definitely. When it comes to the stitching, again, it can be poor in spots. There's a lot of loose threads here and there, but one thing I've noticed with all of the loose threads, it doesn't seem to be an issue for the sleeping bag itself. They're just a little bit long in places. It doesn't seem like it's something that will lead to a failure later on. Of course, with my testing, I will keep you guys informed. If there are issues in the future, I will definitely let you know because I like to do long-term reviews. I've been testing this, this sleeping bag out here for roughly three, four months. So I definitely put my time in. I continue to use products so I can tell you you know, if there are some issues. Also, it helps keep companies accountable for their products, which is important to me. Okay, with that being said, folks, what questions do you all have? What questions do you have for the company? They will be reading the comments. Teton Sports, thank you very much for sending this in to me, letting me test this out for so long. Until next time, everyone, take care, strength and honor, be well.